All right, so I just finished mounting the solar panel onto the roof of the element. And if you can see, it's pretty much a perfect fit. The width matches exactly. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. It wouldn't have been a huge deal if not. I would have had a better selection of solar panels if I had gone vertically. But I just didn't want to do that when it just feels like this is such a perfect fit and it's more symmetrical. So a little bit of OCD kicking in there. This brand was decently reviewed. I mean, nothing crazy. It's not a major name brand like Renogy or SunPower. SunPower would have been my, my top option followed by Renogy, but I'm taking a chance on this. This is my first foray into solar and trying out the flexible panel. I actually use this VHB by 3M. It's like a tape putty kind of thing. It's super sticky. I've used it in the past for motorcycle helmets. And um, for cable management, I just kind of rolled it up and stuck it on. Not the most elegant solution, but I think it'll hold up. What I'm really pleased about is that the sunroof actually closes over these wires. They're not too fat, and they're actually not even like smushed at all. It's just kind of the, um, the sunroof molding kind of conforming around it. Element Van Life did this, and he didn't have any problems, so I don't expect to run into anything either. The seals on either side of the sunroof seem to seem like they're going to be enough to handle that. And you know, I think these silly little rolls of VHB will hold the wires in place just fine. I also have VHB running along vertically across the solar panels. You can see these are my little marks where I made it, and instead of one long strip, I made like two inch strips spaced apart all over the solar panel. I thought that that would provide less surface area because the one thing I am concerned about with this setup is, um, as you can see, the element has these natural grooves on the roof, which is excellent because that's what you want for airflow and for water to drain out, but they're not everywhere. There's only like three of them, right? There's one here, there's one here, and then one at the end there. So the rest of the solar panel where I pretty much attach the tape is in these top raised sections. And the tape is not that thick. And then you're like smushing it down so it's compacting a little even more. And I think, I suppose over time it will just compact and shrink even more so, so that it's all, it's pretty much touching um, the roof. And that's that's really what you don't want because the solar panel is going to get really hot. Um, airflow is not going to be able to get under there to keep it cool. Water's not going to be able to drain out, but I'm banking on these three right here. And the fact that since it's not one solid strip across, since it's spaced, there should be areas of the solar panel that, you know, are, are not touching by just like a fraction of a millimeter. So I hope it stands up over time. We'll see. I haven't been able to test it out yet because the Jackery is at 100%. The blue light came on as if it were charging, but it says input zero. So um, I'm thinking that's just because the charge regulator in the Jackery just knows it's full and it's not going to accept any input. So, so far, so good. I will give you guys a real world test. We're headed out very, very soon, full time to Big Bend National Park. I'm headed out probably on Wednesday. Fingers crossed if everything goes all right. I still have a very important package to, um, to kind of wait for while I'm here. I really can't leave without it. So. That's my plan, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hey, guys, almost forgot to tell you the things that I bought and how much they cost. So the solar panel itself was $140, the top solar solar panel. The cable that you will need to attach it to your Jackery, the DC 4 to 8 millimeter, was $16. And then this uh, double-sided 3M VHB very high bond tape was $15. So what is that like $170, $180 total? Not too bad. Insulation was super, super simple. I mean, you're just taping a solar panel to the roof. You're plug and playing your connections and going right into the Jackery. I have a Jackery 500 and the 8mm plugs directly into that. I don't know exactly if the higher Jackeries, like the 1000, um, use that same 8mm connector, but uh, the 500 fits perfectly and so far so good. I mean, nothing to be scared about if you've never done solar before. If you have a Jackery, this is, I think, worth looking into given how easy it is to install and the flexibility that it will give you um, charging and maintaining 
the power levels in your Jackery as opposed to just letting it deplete and relying on a wall outlet to charge it, you know, which takes like six hours and a dedicated wall outlet, um, dedicated time out of your day, especially if you're living full time as I plan to do. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. As always, I wish you health. I wish you peace. I wish you unlimited joy on your journey, wherever it may take you. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Big Bend National Park. Look out for it. Bye.